If you have a Volkswagen Touareg, you want to remove the battery, you have to take the driver's seat, slide it all the way back. The socket that you're going to use is an M10 triple square. triple square there's one screw right here and there's one over here on the track on this side so all right so now both bolts are out so we should be able to just tilt it the ones in the rear are holding it on now so now we got to come back around see what's going on in the rear Looks like we need to move the seat forward and take off these as well. So the triple squares on the track in the rear are right here. Right here. All right, so once you have everything unbolted, you can just simply throw the seat to the side. And then there's a carpet panel here that we can peel back maybe and this looks like that might be some type of battery so when you lift the seat back you've got some wires here and I would just recommend don't unplug the wire with the yellow connector that's this one and this yellow one controls the airbag so I would say just do your best to work around that. You're gonna lift up on this air filter. It's connected right here with one Phillips head screw. And I think that's it. So we're gonna remove that and then we should be able to access the battery. So that's actually a T25, T25. And that'll remove this cover here. So you can gently place it to the side. And then when we go back, there's our battery. Right there. So, looks like it has a tie down here. Uh, maybe a 10 millimeter. And then you've got obviously the positive and negative cables. And it looks like that cover that we pulled off clips over top of it. There's a 10 millimeter right here. So even after you get the cables and the main tie down uh, removed, there's this little bitty bolt right here that you're gonna have to take off. And I'm sure this is to prevent the battery from sliding around even more. And then looks like this whole bracket comes off. So we'll have to remember to put this back when we're done. Oh, okay. So it looks like this kind of... I don't even see any purpose for this other than to help the battery mount. So now we're finally able to lift the battery. Oh, you have to unplug this right here. That's kind of like a air vent line. So now that's all done. I'm gonna end the video to pull the battery. Heat's alive. Battery's back in. Everything's good to go. Just gonna put the cover back on, put the seat back in, and we are grooving. One thing to note when you're putting the seat back in, there's this pin right here that you have to line up. And there's one on this side too and then once those are lined up you can actually put the seat in flush